Somebody moved my car. What are you talking about? I didn't park it there. I parked in lot C. Oh, fuck. The president joins me in expressing his deepest sadness. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, baby. Are you coming? Huh. Huh. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Good night. <laughs> I can't believe how much home man you could watch. But what you must understand You can't let the chance Well, everyone, listen, we've got a situation Why'd you stop eating the bloody paper? God! Okay, everyone, we need to discuss this nightmare What nightmare? I wasn't really paying attention Are you sick? You weren't paying attention? The nightmare where we were helping Abu Nazir carry out a terrorist mission, proudly It's not a big deal, it's just a dream Is it? Is it just a dream given our perceived ethnic background? No, uh-uh, it is not just a dream. I'll tell you what's going on. The Habibi in us is trying to become a terrorist. That's what's going on. You can't trust nobody no more. Not even the Habibis in the corner store. Everybody's trying to become a terrorist these days. I was watching the news the other day. There was this lady, white as paper, and she was a terrorist. Everything you just said was very racist. I blame Brody. He makes terrorism look real exciting. You guys, I don't think we're becoming terrorists. Remember how hard it was for us to watch that ant die in the microwave the other day? It just shriveled to a crisp. It was heartbreaking. Yeah, but who put the ant in the microwave? I just wanted to see what would happen. Maybe we had a dream because daddy looks like Abu Nazir and we just want to make daddy proud. No, daddy does not look like Abu Nazir. Daddy do look like a Habibi though. His skin's definitely darker than ours. He's not very hairy though, is he? Wait, is daddy a terrorist? We're a bit old to be calling him daddy, no? Is daddy going to jail? You're all idiots. Daddy's obviously more like a foreign tan version of Saul. Who's Kerry in this equation? I want to be Kerry. She's crazy and listens to jazz, I like her. You're not wide enough to be carry. Oh, you think only white people can fight terrorism? I saw this ugly guy try to talk to a pretty girl the other day and I said, no, uh-uh, you need to stop being a terrorist to her. Hey, Baba, can everyone stop saying the word terrorist, please? I don't want to go to Guantanamo. Eh. Fuck the fucking police, man. I'm not going to jail because of a fucking dream. They can't know our dreams. Of course they can. The NSA spies on us with wee drones that flies into our ears and listens to our thoughts. Then it records them and sends them back to the mothership. The spaceship. Mm -hmm. I mean, if that were the case, we would have gone to jail for that barbecue baby dream. Barbecue sounds real good right about now. Why the fuck would you bring that dream up? Yes, that was terrible dream. I wanted to stick cigarette into my eye and burn into my brain. I don't want to talk about this. Okay, hold on everyone. I think I found a terrorism checklist. Right, do we speak any languages other than English? Oui, je parle un peu français, mais pas très bien. That doesn't count, Frenchy. Valid, my language is digan balada. Oh yes, that counts. Check. Have we ever eaten a kebab or a variation of it? I had a delicious shawarma sandwich last week with that sauce thing they put on. I can't remember what it's called. Is a creamy sauce with red sauce? The tan sauce. Check. Have we ever been on a plane, train, or bridge while saying or thinking the word Muhammad? We did watch the Muhammad Ali biopic on a plane once. Damn it! According to Glenn Beck's terrorism checklist, we are terrorists. No! Je ne suis pas un terroriste! I never trust any of you! You was the real shit! Glenn Beck is the terrorist! In my head! Winter is coming! I don't want to be a terrorist! Man, shut the fuck up! We ain't no motherfucking terrorists! We just out here sympathizing with a nuanced villain, but y'all self loathing ass motherfuckers can't see that! Brainwashed by the man and shit! Mainstream media done fucked y'all up. It's pathetic. I got time for this bullshit. I'm gonna sleep. Right then. Now that that's settled, let's get back together in a few hours and discuss career goals. I've always said we should be going to therapy. Nobody wants to listen to me. <sighs>
obtained. Sending to headquarters now.